Yo. Okay. I guess I use this white one. What? Found it. Let's go. Hug champ. 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 Okay. Almost set up here. Okay. So today is gonna be probably shorter stream. Just gonna practice that new E chord, the A and D chord. Mostly, I want to practice the chord changes. So yeah, so I'm gonna. We'll just get started, I guess. I'm thinking thirty minutes to an hour, maybe. I want to watch the. There's a UFC card. There's a UFC card I want to watch tonight. That's fun. Let's see. There's the D chord. Here's the A chord. And there's that brand new E chord, right? That sounds good. Let's try again. that E chord for a few minutes. Just taking my hand, putting it on. Now that I know how to do other chords really well, it's really helpful in learning new ones, but I still gotta get used to it. Get that muscle memory. And then we switch. Fuck, did I forget how this goes? Now it's like this. And let's go D for fun. Back, D again. Straight hand out. Let's do this. Right, that's how I do it. There we go. That was a little too much gain, it was a little too weird. Too goddamn fat. Ugh, why does that sound cool? This is my shit out of tune. I guess I can do that real quick. Just... Okay, now let's go 
forward. D, go back to A, and go still want to perfect this score changes for those.
we'll take a little break from that. Jump back to the E chord. touch the E chord because that's a whole new thing for me and I ain't about that. I'm gonna try to touch the front. God, it's, it's like I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Let's do it. Fuck. Try switching from D to uh, E actually. Does it feel easier? Mm, my fingers are tripping over. 
over each other. I'm gonna watch this video now. I started off not wanting to, but now I kind of want to learn something dumb. Maybe a little bit. Let's do this again. Okay, hold on. Now I'm fucking it up for some reason. Exercise to see how fast you can do it. Let's see how fast you do it. Too far back there. I keep forgetting how many, like, in the moment, my brain just can't. For the A chord. Let's go again. Let's see that thing I had. That was kind of fun. Let's do this again. Fast, but now I want to try going from D to E because A is sort of the in betweener, so I'm used to that. I want to try E to E. Let's do it again.
obviously going from D to A is on the strum of five strings, but let's do all six. This video, maybe it'll be fun. Let's, let's try it out. Oops, I paused this. Oops, oops, oops. oops. Okay, Here today, we're going to ah, check out. You're so loud, you piece of shit. What the fuck? The Peter Gunn theme. It's a really awesome beginner riff. It's kind of like a finger exercise at the same time, and a pick an exercise, and it's a cool riff. Some of you might know it as the Blues Brothers theme song as well. Very, right. very popular little dog chant. It's loads of stuff. We love Good that. Learning. So, let me play it for you first of all. It looks like this. Oh, what the fuck? Now, if I was playing it for real, I might use different fingers. I'd probably be more likely to go... And just use fingers one, two, and three, because they're a lot stronger. But as a beginner, we haven't got into using our little finger yet, so I want you to have a go at using the fingers one per fret. So first finger's okay. going to play all the notes in the second fret. Second finger's going to play all, all the right. notes in the third fret. Hard third chain. finger's going to play all the notes in the fourth fret. And little finger's going to play all the notes in the fifth fret. Okay? Now the pattern is going to be open, open, two, open, three, open, fifth fret, fourth fret. Oh, shit. Now I was talking fret oh, numbers shit. there. Open, open, two, open, three, open, five, four. Oh, okay? That's the, the whole riff. I already when you first start playing it, it ain't going to sound like that. Okay. It'll be, be more just... Oh, you know, it's actually, it's really difficult for me to deliberately do it wrong right-handed, but if you want to watch me do it left-handed, there's the videos over on the website, the Nit Sudge series, where you can watch me fumble my way through this tune. The trick, the things that is going to help you be able to do it well, first of all, is to try and get your hand in position there, okay? Now, some of you are going to find it really difficult yeah, to keep your fingers bro. spread yeah. out enough like that. You're going to find it Tiny a bit like this. Try and use the right fingers, even if you have to go here and move. Here, you might end up moving a little bit like that. You don't, okay. it's not ideal. You want to try to get the fingers in the third fret. Third finger's going to play off there. Open, open, two. Open, open, two. Two, open, open. three. Open, open, two, open, three. Open, five, five. four. Okay. Open, open, two, open, three, open. Wait, did you do open? Open, three, three, open. Five, five four. four. Okay, the only one that didn't have an open between is five four, and that's one that goes back. Okay, let's see. Wait, how, how does it even normally sound? I don't even. So, let me play it for you first of all. It looks like this. It sounds, my sounds way cooler. Look at sound like three times. Oh god, I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Does it go open again, or does it just go play open, open again, right? I'm like playing it so shyly. Fuck. Is it open again? I, why, why am I so stupid? I can't remember. Now, if I let me play it for you. For okay. Now, if I was playing it for okay. real, I might well, use different okay. fingers. I'd probably be more likely to go two and three because they're a lot stronger. The second yeah, finger's yeah, going to yeah. play all the notes in the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fifth. Yeah, open yeah. two. The pattern okay. is going to be open, 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 open two, two, open, open three, three, open, open, fifth fret, five, four. four. Yeah, I was talking fret numbers there. Open. It sounds so gross. Ooh. It just sounds wrong to 
can open it again after the second. That's what I meant. Okay. Open two, open, open three, three, open, 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 fifth fret. And then you do open and then it'll go fifth and fourth, okay? It's really easy. What the fuck? I can't. Why does it sound so bad? I'm scared to hit the next string. Yo, what's it with yeah, you might end up moving a little bit like that. You don't, it's not ideal. You want to try to get the fingers spread out if you can. So just as a little starting point, first finger, second fret. It's all on the thicker string, by the way. Second finger in the third fret. Third finger, second fret, little finger. Just, you might already find that's like, hey man, that's super difficult for me. I can't do it. It's okay. Practice it through the week and get better and better at it. Even if you can't do it right now, you you might not be able to do it in a week or two. But you okay, so like I said, there's a whole heap of things going on here. It's not just about playing. Okay, this is a great finger exercise to be going using all four fingers. You're getting some little finger action. <laughs> You used to with your pick hand playing the same action. string over and over again because it's literally funny. all downs. One and two and three. And three. That's what I'm struggling with right now. Is I get like I get like excited with my fingers and everything else and not play the strums over. Confidently. Yeah, I want to learn what to pick. I, I can hear you can hear my like, knuckles scraping the other string a little bit there. Maybe I turn the gain down. I'll turn it way down.
and keep defaulting to fucking plucking the strings. I gotta learn how to do this with the pick. Let's try the black pick. I don't know, maybe this will feel better. Well, I got that. I got that one pretty good. good. Got it. You hear that? First riff. Day five. I gotta get sound good one time though. That's all that counts. Let's do it again. towards the end there. Gotta play them like that. Should be able to play something. Let's play a little slower. Second one, just fucking he gets played, man.
kind of cheating to get that because I'm like kind of holding down the rest of them with my palm. But I kind of I think he said this is more of an exercise of like making sure you're picking the right strings. The count for those of you who don't understand rhythm. It's called even eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so getting used to the pick being consistent is going to be a big part of the exercise. Getting used to using all of the different fingers. Now, some common other mistakes that you're going to find, it's going to be difficult to hit just the one string. You can yeah. probably find you go like... Yeah, bro, you're right. Especially because especially I have an electric guitar and I have the gain kind of turned up, you can hear even when my like, pick barely rubs against it. So it's kind of tough. And that's okay. Just be forgiving of yourself again. Later on, you'll be able to control the pick better to just Let's play go. one note. One thing you might find is if you let your first finger kind of rest on the strings a little bit. Here, when it goes, when it's not playing or when it's playing that note, I'm letting the edge of my first finger touch on all of the strings. So it just ends up oh, muting them a little so bit. So if they, if they were accidentally ring it out, Justin. touching them ever so lightly with the first finger is going to mute them all for you. So you might find that helpful. Don't worry about trying to do it fast if you're going like this. That's totally fine as well. It's a learning experience, you're going to find this difficult. The idea with me giving you these riffs is to give you kind of nice, recognizable, fun things to do on the guitar, but they're also exercises. Everyone's got something about it that I want you to learn. Okay. This idea of picking out individual notes is a really, really important thing for beginners. Learning to keep your timing consistent is important, and then starting to develop your finger independence so that you can control the fingers on the same string is also a really useful exercise. So it's not just about the riff, but it's a lot of fun. I don't think I got to the point where I could play it along with the record because it's considerably faster than most beginners are going to be able to do it. Um, if you're worried about how you're feeling about it, then go and check out my lefty video. You'll probably find it a lot of fun, you know, watching me fumbling with it and struggling and how it goes. You'll probably find sometimes you fall off the skateboard, I call it as well. It's going, you're like, yeah, man, I can do it. This is going great. Uh, oh, and what happened to my fingers? And they just something will go wrong and you just have to stop that's okay it's just normal this that's is what okay. happens when you're a beginner don't stress about it don't be all like oh i can't do it i'm never going to be able to do it i'm hopeless at guitar that's completely the wrong place to put your head you just want to be like yeah can't do that yet struggling with a little bit that's okay i'm just gonna just in the go man i don't think i'll hey, how you doing justin back do with this. you now we're gonna talk I'll, about i don't think i'll learn about i don't know i don't know maybe i'll learn this. not today i won't learn all songs today i'll just keep practicing this riff If I turn the gain down though, it's less noticeable. ready to move off the chord so it's just like hold it super light it's got to be tight
got a text. Oh fucking shit. No, I pig. It's already, what, 40 minutes? Yeah, I'll get off pretty soon here. So it's a shorter day. I just wanted to practice that, and I learned a good riff. And I've got to take a poop. So... Yeah, let's just practice chord a little more. I think that's gonna do it for today boys I am I'm honestly I just need to poop real bad so I'll see you guys tomorrow maybe not tomorrow I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow on Sunday probably maybe for a little bit maybe another short one like today but definitely Monday see you boys